Early September 1936, Hermann Göring visits Hitler at Obersalzberg. Both decide upon Germany's future economic program. In four years' time, the country is to be economically and militarily prepared to go to war. Industry eagerly supports the plan. Hitler is warmly received at the Villa Hügel in Essen. It is the residence of Gustav Krupp von Bohlen und Halbach, since 1934 the chairman of the Reichsverband der Deutschen Industrie. The machines of the armament industry are already running non-stop. In 1938, half of all public expenditures are allotted to the defense budget. The massive rearmament wouldn't be possible without tax revenues. Financial juggler Schacht bypasses the budget by secretly channeling rearmament costs through a private firm. The Metallurgische Forschungsgesellschaft is founded in 1933 by four industrial groups. The state serves as guarantor for the organization and awards contracts through it to the armament industry. Payments are made with bills of exchange rather than money. Industry can convert these into cash at the Reichsbank. The debts continue to pile up at the Reichsbank. Hitler intends to settle these debts with future war profits. Since the state only has to settle the debts at a much later date, they do not appear in the government budget. A sophisticated system to obscure the true extent of armament expenditures. At the same time, the new strength of the military is openly demonstrated at the Nuremberg Party Congress. 